first catch of the day. Woohoo! So not bad, they're, they're that good eating size. What a legend! G'day legends, um, welcome to another episode. Today we've driven over to Point Riley, which is just north of uh, Wallaroo. Um, there is pretty much no wind to speak of, which is fantastic. Um, and we're hoping to get some squid. We've um, just starting to get ready now, um, but we'll uh, we'll come back when there's some uh, some squid action. <laughs> So we're just starting off with the new Coast Till Dawn squid jig and uh, we'll give this a crack. It's only a three so hopefully it doesn't sink too far. It's getting a little bit wet here. We are on an incoming tide. High tide's about probably four hours away. So I'm assuming I will have to push back as that tide comes in. The squid do like the... Yeah, okay, we've got some weed on that already. The squid do like the uh, higher tides, apparently. So what I'm gonna try and do, because I can't seem to get out very far with the casting of the squid jig, and I think I just have to wait for the tides to come in a bit more. So what I'm gonna do is throw some burley out, see if I can catch some small uh, um, fish, like Tommy's or something, that I can put out on a teaser. Um, so just got my other rod here. Uh, got some cat food, got some bread, and just gonna burly up a little bit and see how we go. And hopefully I can just cast a little bit further. See if we can get some of these, uh, well, see if we can get some fish. Just a bit hard to see directly in that line of the sun coming down. So I'm just gonna, well, and I'm catching a bit of weed there too. And getting hit. Definitely getting bites, those gents are getting devoured. But again, how big are they? We'll have to, uh, see and I might take the gents up there i might also go to the car just get some tuna oil for the water so i have a really stupid seagull out here trying to eat my float which is somewhat frustrating hopefully he realizes it's not edible he's already had one crack at it something's definitely pulling the float under but i have no idea it could just be a an annoying wrasse or a trumpeter or something or a small leather jacket. Spit fresh grating. We might have one here. No. Felt a bit of weight. Got a hook. Wrapped around here. Pretty sure I had a fish there too. Bitten off. They so probably a wrasse or something. You can see that float going under the water out there. I don't want to give up on the spot, but gee, I'm not feeling very confident and very happy at the moment. Well, that was a bit frustrating, guys. Uh, my Inku float out there looks like it's got a squid on it. It's bobbing down under the water. Went to wind it in and my line was caught under a rock. I tried to, I got elbow deep trying to get it out and slapped my line, so. Float, jig gone all right guys persistence pays dividends there again let's see if we can uh hook up on the three all right i might be getting lucky here guys i think i have retrieved my squid jag and my float what a legend now just gonna get all this line in so we don't pollute not a bad result no there's no squid on it that was a bit disappointing 
but hey happy to get my squid jig back oh there you go so it is still stuck under that rock that went uh, straight down pretty much on the drop and we have our first catch of the day woohoo awesome oh it's a tiny it's a squid <laughs> not a bad size tiny no well, not tiny but a reasonable size make sure we get this on camera because some of my headshots haven't been great but there he is there reasonable size and let's hope that this is a start of he has absolutely engulfed this thing i've never seen a squid uh take it take it so hard so we didn't get any bites on that uh root on the red devil but looks like maybe he was just a bit annoyed that i took his uh glow tiger in <laughs> off the other one i don't know maybe he was chewing on that and uh, when he saw it back in the water he was all over it uh, like a kid in a lolly shop so unfortunately i've uh, run out of battery on my other angle so we're just back to the good old days the head mount yeah been investing a bit in the videos lately got the second gopro got the dji wireless mic kit really want to make some good videos for you guys so if you are enjoying it what we have been able to achieve today really appreciate a, a thumbs up uh, like and also a subscribe and really important the notification bell because when i release videos the way the algorithm works that the quicker you watch them the the more impressions they get so yeah um yeah really want to make good quality stuff for you guys and and useful stuff yeah nothing there this looks a bit strange might be some weed out there all right i think we're on another one guys i was just uh, pulling that a little bit like feels like a reasonable size one too thought it was just a bit of bottom but it is definitely a squiddly diddly so that sun's going down it should be a prime time to land a few of these guys about the same size as the uh, last one so not bad they're, they're that good eating size oops oh that's good at least it didn't squirt me He's just uh, a little bit upside down there. And that was with the uh, Inku Glow Tiger Prawn. Pretty happy with that one. Let's get back into it. All right, guys, I'm going to have one last cast before I try to get off this rock relatively dry. If you enjoyed it and got this far, please give us a like and a subscribe. Uh, tap that notification bell and we'll see you in the next video.